Today, a special flight is set to take off from the El Paso International Airport. Dozens of rescue dogs boarding a plane and then heading toward their new forever homes. Thanks to Dog my, is my co-pilot and their partnership with El Paso Animal Services. Now we have Good Morning El Paso's Isabella Martinez live at the airport where the pups are being prepared for their journey. Wow, that must be exciting out there. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Hillary. Well, the emotions here are high. Busy morning here at the tarmac. I mean, I can tell you all these pups might seem a little confused, but little do they know it's a life changing journey ahead of them. And joining me this morning is Julie Noble, who is with the El Paso Animal Services to tell us a little bit more. Julie, thank you so much for being here with us. I mean, we're here with all these furry friends. Can you tell us where is their destination? Where are they headed to? Yes, yeah, so these pups are headed up north to rescue partners in Oregon, Washington and Wyoming. There's around 72 animals total, nine cats, 63 dogs. So they're all going to their new lives up north. And why did they go up north? I mean, why are those states chosen as their final destination? Um, so of course, it's wherever yeah. rescue partners are able to assist us. Um, up north, they definitely don't have as much of the overpopulation problem that you see down south all throughout, not just um, you know in El Paso, but throughout Texas and other states. So up north, they're definitely able to assist us more. And a lot of the times, the pets that go up there that maybe have been with us for a year, um, they're adopted within days there. So it's a completely life-changing for them. And you guys have partnered with Dog as my co-pilot for since 2019. How have you seen or how have you noticed the change in the shelter? So definitely every single animal that we're able to get out and get into a home is, is completely so helpful for us. Um, we experience around 20,000 animals entering our care every single year. So every single paw that we're able to get out of the shelter um, just helps us open up more space so we can help more animals in need. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Julie, for joining me this morning. We'll be here all morning giving you live reports as their journey continues up north. We'll give them that farewell from Texas. Very kind, loving farewell. But I'll send it back to you, Hillary, for now. All right. Thank